gentlemen. That song that's playing in the background is being played on Sunno. Hold on, let me turn it off. This Sunno right here. Alright. I like the fact that I can keep it playing in the background while I'm over here messing with ChatGPT and playing with this idiot. Uh, I do need to tell y'all something. I just was sitting up here thinking, because I, I do the whole back and forth with the judge thing in my head, and sometimes I'll even act it out out loud. That's right. You talk to yourself. No, I don't talk to myself. I act out the different roles out loud. No, that's talking to yourself, because ain't nobody else around. No, what I do is I role play. Yes, but by yourself, so that's talking to yourself. No, I don't. Okay, whatever. I'm sorry. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let me go ahead and make sure y'all understand what's going on because y'all need to understand what's going on because I was sitting up here doing that role play thing and I realized something. Section 541 of Title 11. Now remember, Title 11 does not apply to your bankruptcy, right? Because why? Because in that case, that Stern case that we told you about earlier, go back and watch the first video on bankruptcy done today. You'll see in that Stern case and also in that railroad case. You'll see that the Supreme Court said that the bankruptcy court has no jurisdiction concerning personal private rights. Now, why doesn't the bankruptcy court have any jurisdiction over private rights? Because private rights are secured by the Constitution. The bankruptcy court is not a constitutional court. They're not an Article III court, so they cannot act as an Article III court. They don't have the rights to act as an Article III court. They have no jurisdiction as an Article III court. So guess what? Section 541. Here's the other one. A marathon pipeline. That's the second one. And, and the, the first one was stern. Okay, right here. The Fifth Amendment due process protection ensures that property rights are protected from unconstitutional deprivation by a non-Article 3 court, but also from <laughs> Article 3 courts. But ladies and gentlemen, here's what you need to understand. Section 541 says that the bankruptcy encompasses all of your equitable and legal interests. The only thing you could be filing bankruptcy for is for private interests. And corporations have privacy rights too. You're not filing bankruptcy for the public. That's what Congress did in 1933. Okay? You are not doing it on behalf of the public. All of your interests are private. Y'all need to understand what's being said here. Y'all don't need to be going to bankruptcy court ever again. You can file your bankruptcy in district court. By the way, by filing your bankruptcy in district court, pay attention. The rules of the bankruptcy court do not apply. The rules of the bankruptcy court do not apply. Why? Because the rules of the bankruptcy court are written under Title 11 USC. Title 11 USC is not law. Go ahead. Go ahead. I dare you to find and prove to me that it's law. It's not law. Now, I'm not going to talk about that today because I'm tired. I got to get ready. I got to consult in four hours. So that means I'm about to go lay down because that one's going to be late. I'm going to be finishing up at seven. From now on, the consults are no longer than three hours. Won't go more than that. I will stop it immediately. That's all you get is those three hours. Hey, you're getting more than what was promised. So you better just take it and move on with it. All right. So I just wanted to share this with you guys that. I'm positively certain district court is where y'all need to be. And that's what this petition is all about. And what I'm doing is I'm having him do section by section. Because if he doesn't do section by section, he leaves a lot of stuff out. Okay? See, continue with the next section. We, we had a conversation. You guys won't get this. I'm not updating this one. So you'll get the original one because, see, this ain't for y'all. Okay? You know what I'm saying? This ain't for mine. Your lane, business, yours, mind. Okay? Oh, mind your own business and stay in your lane, is what I was saying. All right, got to go.